Mr. Stripey Head, he's so good in bed, you should give him head. G'day guys, how's it going? Well, I'm back at the property. Yes, the property where the cane toads are eaten by crows. And there's the upside down bucket that covers the pump. That didn't have anything under it last time I looked. But I've got to tell you, there has got to be something under there. Yeah, I was mighty disappointed last time that there was nothing under that bucket. So I'm going to go and check it again. We've just had about a, an inch of rain. So hopefully that might have brought something out. So come on. Let's go and see if there is something under the bucket this time. Shh. Quiet everyone while we check it out. cane toads oh and a couple of frogs never seen these ones before it's sort of got bumps on its back very unusual very very unusual oh he's right next to a funnel web hole come on oh, you are cute very well camouflaged too so I'll put you back, right where you were. There you go, tiger. You stay there. Have a look at this, under the water. A couple of cane toads mating. <laughs> oh, and look, cane toad eggs. I don't know if you can see them. Right here. Cane toads have different eggs to uh, frogs. Frogs lay their eggs in clumps like this. Then cane toads, Lay them in big long strings. It's probably thousands of them. Which is just what we don't need. Thousands more cane toads. I'll throw them up on the bank. Look at them. Now if fish eat these, they're dead. Throw them away. Well there you have it. Got rid of a whole bunch of cane toad eggs. Plus discovered a brand new species of frog. What a day! Well, thanks for joining me in my expedition today, and I'll see you guys effing later. <laughs> Stripey.